Uh. Yeah. Bible underneath my right hand, I made it out of tight jams Guns all on my nightstand, my life should be on Vice Land My fingertips to hold the marijuana aroma High school, I went to school high, still got my diploma He got riddled and left alone for some Skittles in Arizona At the same time, a man dies by his own for a pair of Jordans It's crazy how we living, we all misguided children Niggas out here getting got, trying to figure out how to get it We the ones that's not afraid to let the hammers off The same ones that feed the homeless with the cameras off The life I'm living kinda hard to get a handle on But I'm blessed and God knows I can't be mad at all I made my first film with Raphael in 2010 And I instantly thought this was gonna be a guy that I know for the rest of my life Fast forward nine years later, and I'm in, on set with him again in New York City, and um, I've just always connected with this guy, and he brings stories to life in a cool way, and he's just the perfect person to talk to for Uncreative Radio. Uncreative Radio, I am here with my man, Raphael. Yeah. Dude, good to see you. You too, man. I, we're in Brooklyn. I don't even know where we are. Yeah, East, you, East Williamsburg. Is that the cool part, or is that cool part somewhere else? <laughs> the, the, like, cool, quote, unquote, the, the cool quote, part. The quote, cool part is somewhere else. Yeah, that's, I guess, what you'd call Western. I don't even I can't even I can't even well man I've the place is real dope I'm so I have you just we were just talking about the fact that every time I have seen you the only times I've seen you yeah is when we are on set (laughs) grinding every time we're like this is so I was I was I was actually quoting something we said on set once where it was like or you were you were talking about like it's so torturous why do we do this to ourselves? Yes. But then there's a moment when you realize, no, because I love this. Yeah, man. Yeah. You, it's just like, <laughs> we have been through so many battles. My first feature that I ever shot, we shot together. Yeah. And then years later, that was probably 2010 or something. Yeah. Years later, we shot Christmas Eve. And uh, I had it was funny because I was talking to Brandon at the time. Mm. He had just moved to London. And yeah. I was like, he was like, man, I'm over here. I want to shoot something. And I was like, oh, dude, we'll just write, a, I'll do an easy Christmas film. This right. was in, I don't know, November or something. When I, <laughs> right, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was real, because I remember when I reached out to you, it was like, yo, we want to shoot, like, next yeah. week, of yeah. course. Yeah, <laughs> like, are you ready? Like, what's your available in two weeks? Yeah. So I was like, uh, <laughs> I actually happen to be available yeah. in two weeks. So we were, I was writing this show, I was writing this, uh, like, quick film that I thought we would do in London. Because I wanted oh, to do, yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, because I wanted to do something with Brandon right, while he was in London. Right. Then we realized, holy shit, that's going to cost that's so lot, much money. <laughs> um, and then we're like, okay, well, what's 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 London here in the States? That's New York City. Right, yeah. Then you just, I forgot. I was, I was like, I didn't even. It was just a random coincidence that I had just moved back to New York. Yeah. And also just randomly was scrolling on my like fucking yeah. Facebook timeline. <laughs> <laughs> and saw Amy on Facebook being like, we're looking for blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking in my head as I'm reading it, describing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, must be available in New York. But at the time, everyone, and still people, I still have to correct them that I live in New York. Right. Everyone thought I lived in New York at that Everyone point. think, because you were in San Francisco. I was in San Francisco. I was in the Bay Area. I was yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you, were, you were out there doing theater. Yeah, well, I got my MFA. Yeah, and big shit, dude. And then I stayed big out there. Big shit. Yeah, it was dope. It was great. Good grief. But then, yeah, it was just coincidence to be like, hey, Amy, you know, I'm yeah. actually in New York. And yeah. And what's up? Yeah. And then we, yeah. so we put this film together that I thought was great. And then we, so we, I, mean, I can't even, like, it was so funny because I remember uh, I really wanted to challenge myself. Mm. And the film we made prior to that was like kind of a one location deal. Right. And I was like, I want to do something that stretches. And so we shot, first, I think we shot Florida. Yeah. And a bunch, just so many locations. Yeah, I was just like, all this around. Is the opposite. This yeah, is the opposite. Many locations. <laughs> moving locations. Moving locations. <laughs> We're doing seat here, seat here, there. And then we brought the whole show to New York and, yeah. then, and then finished it. Yeah. It was a big. That was. It was a process, man. I remember, especially when we were getting on the plane to go to New York. Yes. I remember thinking, like, I've never done that. I've never like been with a crew, right? Getting on a plane to go somewhere else, somewhere else altogether to continue to do what we were doing. Yeah, and like all just the process of checking in all the equipment. I was like, I don't even. Yeah. I mean, at that point, you know, I'm like in my zone, but I'm right. like watching what's happening. I'm like, I don't even know how you guys did that. It's I was just, it's murder. <laughs> I was just the, like, and and the, and we do that all the time. Like that is just our normal. 
And I realized that too. I was like, oh, they do this all the twice t- a <laughs> week. Yeah, it's, it's just standard. Like we have a process, but it's horrible. But that was so interesting to me because we had so many locations. Obviously, we're shooting the film all yeah. ho- however, whatever order yeah. we're shooting it in, which is best for the schedule. But then we move it to New York and then it's just like, you know, it's cold. And yeah. I have a I have an Instagram story on my phone from that uh it was like uh it says like dear josh uh no it was like a note to future josh like don't shoot movies in the cold <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it was just so freaking cold oh man that's when you start to realize like oh that's why they always shoot in los angeles oh, yeah like i get it because, because you could just, just wear a jacket nice. oh. yeah so we're in new york <laughs> and we've committed to this like I don't know because every film that I'm writing, like you know, it's uh, it's like page per minute rule, like does not right. apply to me. Mm-hmm. So like we shot, you know, the the Christmas Eve. I don't know, you got like 24 pages or something. Yeah. It's like 47 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember I remember reading it, being like, I have no idea how long this is. Like I right. know it's not 24 minutes, right? Exactly. But I don't know how long it exactly. is. Exactly. And then we get, we get we get to New York, and I remember it just being really really cold. And then we're you we're I remember this this scene we're sitting out on the on this like little alley um, ledge yeah she's just freezing yeah just trying not to, to- shiver between yeah lines. <laughs> but the the part <laughs> the hard part is oh man i felt so bad we were he you have a bike in this movie yeah. and so you're biking everywhere we brought the bike yeah from florida yeah had to put it together at one point the bike broke of course that was yeah yeah and then we find a bike shop prepare it blah 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 but you're biking yeah. and then you get sick yeah. And then you lose your voice the next day. That was, that was, I, that had n- never happened to me before. Ever. <laughs> I've had like different issues with in different shows on in theater where yeah. it's like you're performing eight times a week. And yeah. Sometimes you have to like shout or you're singing and like you're taxing your voice, but like, yeah, you're like drinking tea and you're on vocal rest. Right. <laughs> and, and stuff like that. But this is like in film, you're, you know, you're just going. Right. And, you know, your body is so intelligent, but sometimes it, it's like when the plane lands and the, the sound wave catches up. Yes. And like, yeah, it just seemed to just, it all, call, it all caught up to me in one day. Yeah, it was wild. And I remember thinking we were like, we were at that moment. It's like four in the morning. We're yeah. like, what do we do here? Yeah. Oh, oh that was, su- that moment was just like rough. And it was like, cause I, we were, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. So we were like, okay, if we, do we keep going until whatever it is? We had like, I don't know, 7 a.m. The sun's going to come yeah. up again. Yeah. Uh, which reminded me of our first feature. We were like just shooting until like the sun came up. The sun up. came up, yeah. Um, but, uh, and then we decided, hey, let's call it quits and catch it next year. And yeah. that, how did you feel at that moment? Because for me, I was just like, toast. That, that was like, we went right up until, I think we all knew like this. We, is, can't, we can't do it. We can't do it. We just can't do it. It was just too many things. Getting that that scene on the ledge that was so cold and my voice is is like straining right. and I'm right. like we're doing it, but it's but like, it's like not we've, we're quite. doing it a disservice. Yeah, and we start popping through scenes yeah. so fast. Yeah, but then when we and it was so cold. Ugh, it was so cold there. I can't even. And then when we got to the Brooklyn the Bridge, <laughs> and it was colder <laughs> i it think we like, all were like this can no we're all gonna we're, we're all gonna die we're all gonna die here <laughs> and we're not and then go. for me I, I thought like look we're not making anything good we're yeah. we're making stuff that's cold yeah and we're doing we're trying to get it done to finish yeah, yeah. to finish and it was hard man we left yeah. and it was hard to sit there and go something with it was incomplete yeah and I, I remember thinking that in the van as as me and elizabeth were sitting waiting like we we're kind of you know like what's going on what yeah. we gonna do and i'm like I'm starting to think like you know I think I think Jaws about to call it I yeah because like this is we're not gonna be able to get what we need to get we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to really get what we need to get right but it was like and then you start to think through your head of like what scenes did we get Do, is there yeah. is there a movie yeah and it was like there's not mm, a movie not yet a movie there's yet. not a movie yet that we're gonna have to reshoot or yeah or do another shoot yeah and so it then that six months eight months or whatever of yeah. pure just like hell for yeah. me this like oh man like, when are we gonna get back how are we gonna get back and yeah. then trying to line all the schedules because that's the hardest thing in the world mm-hmm. it's like uh everyone's working on projects and yeah but finally we got to come back and finish it which i thought was pure magic i thought yeah. it was really cool that we got to to come back next year yeah nailed it we released it on christmas eve um Hit Amazon, yeah. Um, and then I, it's it was it was to this moment right now. I haven't been able to sit with you and <laughs> yeah. see what you thought. I think I pretty Did- much sure I watched it alone because I knew I didn't want to like be distracted by anyone else's sure. experience. And there's so much like yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I really, I was really, uh, I was really shocked at how it all came together just yeah. like as a movie yeah because being being an actor inside of it you're like in the one hand you're like okay this is my performance and i know they're gonna figure out how to like how to link it, to, it yeah and the movie is separate you know right, you know, right. as being like a you know direct filmmaker myself i also realized that like you know i've always stuck to this like uh adage that i've heard you know the the movie's made three times it's the one movie that's written yep then one movie that's shot absolutely and then one movie that's edited a hundred percent true and you gotta let each one be its own thing yeah and that's very very hard starts to seem closer and you for a few hours you allow yourself to stop seeing everyone's differences but instead the core of who they are I don't know but we build walls during the day watching what we say positioning ourselves for whatever makes us look better but at night those things are still there, but they don't matter. We let our hair down, dance, feel music, drink more than we should. Because in these moments, all that matters is to feel. We walk around dead all day, but at night, I can finally hear my shattered little heart beat again. Boom. Boom. And I feel it pumping life back into things that I thought were dead and we sing. The differences don't matter. Our colors have faded. Our eyes are blind and all that is left is you. The power is just in like uh, you just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it keep it keep putting your foot to the pedal and keep yeah. making projects and yeah. and um, and since then, what have you been doing? Uh, so I came back to New York and like hitting the ground hard. Um, I mean, we were just talking just recently. I was on Law and Order so sick, SVU man. for the so first time, sick, which is like like rite of passage for New York actors. Absolutely, to, like, get on Law and Order. That is just so incredible, yeah. man. Yeah, so it was, incredible. It was great. I mean, it's like a, a solid role on the show. And I was just talking to my sister about it's funny. You know, I posted on you know social media, be like, hey, I did this thing. Yeah, and the response is like. You, Boom, like yeah, huge. Yeah. Like like I just started a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and it's like it's not but it's like because it's law and order. It's law and order, it's man. It's law and order. What there's that show's <laughs> yeah. been on yeah. and still on. Yeah, so to like be a part of such a dynasty of a show is just like And to be involved in the great. story arc too. Yeah, yeah. Not, not boy who throws newspaper exactly. to Exactly. Not just like, oh, there's some here's this thing. Yeah, like thanks. Yeah. yeah. Like my character really has I had two good scenes and then two smaller scenes and I'm That's part so of I got to act with Marish Cardigay and Ice T. That's crazy. And, uh, the woman who plays Rollins, Kelly. Uh, were you were you were you super nervous? I wasn't actually, which honestly for me was an interesting like self-referential thing to realize like, just, oh, I've just been waiting for something like this to be able to do at and this And then you level. just multi, muscle yeah. memory. I'm trained. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm in my bag now. And try not to be too, like one thing is like, we're like they're there every day. So for them, 
they're also their characters are as season reg series regulars their emotional arcs are like more you know across the season exactly and when you come in as a guest star you're usually the one who's like has to be like you're yeah heightened you've been because it's you it's you, you right you, you're either the the victim or you're the perpetrator or you're somebody who's like really in the middle of like the crux of that right of their life absolutely there were two back-to-back -back mass shootings just to, today, today, just today. The, the other day yeah and people that jump out, you know, the the media, the, mm -hmm. the and Trump, he hasn't even called these people yet. No. But like they're the way they they are so slick with this mm -hmm. shit. It's just like, oh man, we really gotta get a hold of the mental health in this country. Yeah. Instead of being like, yo, man, we got a fucking problem. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like at some point it's like they, they pigeonhole it to be like this mental health game when it's like it's not a mental health game. No, it's like yeah. people are making really conscious choices mm -hmm. in your name, right? Yeah. It'd be one thing like, like, can you imagine? It'd be one thing if like you were a racist. It'd be another thing that if the racist thought you were a racist. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like that's almost worse than like, yo, no, he's one of us. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, no, Josh, he's, a, yeah, he's one of us. Yeah. Like that would be like. And you're not like, no, you're, I'm not. And you're not like, no, what <laughs> the fuck? No, no, no. Like, well, let's not jump to Nuni. Like, I don't want to yeah, speak yeah. too quickly. We just need to see all the facts. Yeah. Like, and some things you could just be like, oh, man, someone gunned down 19 people in a Walmart. Yeah. All right. We got a probably an issue. Yeah. And I think when. The Republicans phrase that in such a way that they they're trying to be careful of those NRA dollars and careful of where all this mo the machine is the, yeah. mo the money is going in this machine. I think it starts to get really scary um, because I think you're it's turning into something very different. But I think people and I don't know and just everyday Americans are like so stuck to like social media and Instagram they can they just miss that. Yeah, and it's become they're so good at it because it's just becoming something that is just. Uh, it's you're being desensitized to it. It's mm -hmm. like oh, another shooting on the yeah. And there's like a a snap to judgment these days where it's like you can't take any time to consider anything. It has to be like this happened, and you have to have an immediate yes. judgment either way. Either way. And it's like this is immediately gonna be that yep. everyone who supports Trump is gonna like pull so back. Like, Pull back pull and back say, we're not really like, sure. Not, I don't know. I don't right. know. And then everyone else is going to immediately be like, no. got to stop this. This, this is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, The country. It's, yeah. In the weirdest place. Yeah. Like, I have ever seen it be yeah. in before. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's it's like this can't like this cancel culture that's really it's hard with the with the Democratic candidates. I'm like really in this place where I'm like I haven't really I'm and I'm like yeah I'm like super passionate and before Absolutely. during the last primary i was like really actively a bernie yeah and then when it wasn't bernie i was like okay, okay it's hillary i do hillary right and i had lots of friends who were like never hillary because this that and the third and you know and i'm like on you know on these like fucking Twitter, yeah, here we, here you know, we go i don't know if swearing is, is okay yeah you, you just did it's fine me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm like Listen, y'all, you got you to gotta think long term. And like, I hear you on the Hillary stuff and new stuff's coming to light and all of the like, you know, criminal industrial complex that Clinton put into place that like has been really bad and marijuana, like three strikes programs and all that. Right. But you got to think strategic, strate strategically. Like, yeah, it, it, it sucks that in this country it's still a two-party system. Yeah. And that you have to, like, pick between two bad candidates sometimes. Yeah. But you got to fucking pick between two and, bad candidates. And, like, there's <laughs> never, there's just never yeah. been a time in this country where people had a debate on if Nazis were bad. Yeah. Like, if we got to, like, yeah. do we? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, the idea, the idea that, like, we're debating immigrants being in this country. Yeah. I don't even like I was taught I was just in like this farm country mm. and I'm just literally from you know, from eye to eye I'm looking at yeah. farming. <laughs> and I'm just like, who do you think is doing this? Yeah. And what white collared Wall Street employee wants this job and will willingly do yeah. it. Yeah. But those are the same people that are like, get him out of our yeah. country. Yeah. I think it's just so bananas. No. And it's funny to me too, like the same people who are like stirring up the pot of lower income black and white people to be mad about immigration. Right. Are the ones who are 
hiring illegal Absol- <laughs> hiring illegal immigrants. Like, bro, who do you think's working at Mar a Lago, man? Know? Yeah. Who do you think's building this wall? Yeah. Who do you think's doing half of this yeah. stuff? Who's cleaning our hotel rooms? Who's like, working these farms? That's who's hiring that, them. And you're hiring them. Yeah. So it would negatively <laughs> impact you. You. I don't get it. Like, if you like hear the the, the actual logic behind yeah. this stuff, it boggles yeah. my mind. Yeah. The idea that like, like I. And, and on the Democratic side, it's hard for me sometimes because yeah. they don't have their act together. No. Like, what I think the Republicans do so well is they're on message 100% of the time. Yeah. And the Democrats, not that I don't support the Me Too movement or anything like that, but the Republicans just aren't, they're not distracted by that. No. And the Democrats are just like, yo, we're doing this. Yeah. And, and we got, you got uh, Democrats outing Al Franken and all these people. And, and, yeah. and to me, I think the Republicans are like, yeah, cool. Stay focused on yeah. all that, yeah. all that shit over exactly. there. Like, we don't care. Yeah. Like we're going full steam over yeah. here. Like we're putting all our, and, and, uh, and we're caught up in like, what, what did Louis CK but do? this person. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where I've been actually like, uh, so I, after all that stuff and I was getting all heated and then these like arguments that I was like, this is not, healthy and I just like pulled way back and like, right. I haven't really been doing as much as like I used to but I seeing so many people in this current cycle just posting and talking about well this person's bad because of that and well this person's bad because of that and that person's bad because of that yeah. and don't trust this person because right. of that right and I finally posted a thing with someone's thing I was like yo I, I just I'm just waiting for some people to start talking about why they like somebody yeah you know because lis- like listen like no one like Jesus Christ is not running for president right so, so everyone has gonna have faults and in this political political landscape right everyone's gonna have dirt. Right. And not everyone's going to check all your boxes. So start talking about what you like about somebody and right. and figure out who you're going to vote for based on who you like the best. Right. You know, they all have and of course taking into consideration their faults. For sure. But start talking about why you like Yeah. You're forgetting more. about the pros. Exactly. Find some of those in you know? there cuz then all we're going to have is like a list of cons. And we're going to be voting on a list of cons versus a list of pros. And like, let's let's vote on a list of pros. Yo, every time we get pulled over, they there is a thought that we are going to die. This could happen the, every time, and no white person has that thought. No. They're like, man, I'm going to get a ticket. Is it going to be points yeah, on my it's gonna license? Be bad, yeah, it's going to blah blah blah. We're thinking, Maybe they'll give me a warning. Yeah, we're thinking there's a chance I'm not going home. Yeah, any anything if I if I cooperate, if I don't cooperate. cooperate. If they had a bad day, day, yeah. If whatever, who knows? If I'm, if it's a mistaken identity, yeah. I was just like, I love true crime, and it's been hard sometimes when some of the true crime are these things that have to do oh, with race, man, yeah. Because it's like, oh, this guy mistaken identity gets beaten until he's blind in one eye. Dude, they were <laughs> these know? the Central Park Five. They were just in jail. Yeah. Just can you for years? Yeah, twelve year old kids being interrogated Get, by grown ass and getting men. beat, uh, the sh- getting the shit beat out of yeah. them in prison. Yeah, and they did nothing wrong. No, and yeah. then they're just like, "Yo, man, oh yeah, here's some oh, million bucks. We're sorry. Yeah, my bad. I got that yeah. one wrong. Like, can you like that's no. it. There's no amount of money. Yeah, and I think there's like this. Uh, it's weird. Like I was looking when the the shooter got arrested. Mm. Uh, there's this there's this Twitter picture it's like a split frame that the, he's arrested he's got his hands behind his back yeah and the cops are walking him and he killed 19 people yeah 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 and then eric garner in new york yeah was selling some yeah. cigarettes he's on the ground can't breathe he's dead yeah there's five the, cops there five cops on that, him on the ground and there's on it's, the ground choking him and then there's two cops yeah just cash the shooter just like cash. walking. yeah like that, if that doesn't say something to yeah. you and where the country is about like black and yeah. brown people, it like, it's very, it's really weird. And I feel like the criminal justice system, uh, where things are, where things are today, it's becoming a more scary place. Um, but at times I do love that the, when they see us is and stuff like that are yeah. bringing more light to that. Yeah, so yeah. people, but it's very funny to me when people bring that up to you, like, Hey, did you know that? I'm like, yeah. 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 Yes, of course yeah. we of course that's, we don't. Yeah. That's where some some stuff is like, um some people need this. Yeah. I mean, and I like some, I loved it. I I I haven't actually watched all of it because it's so it's hard to it's watch. It's so personal it's and intense watch. and hard to watch. I watched the first episode and the whole time I'm watching it, my yeah, heart's yeah, pounding. Yeah, it's and, it's, and yeah, <laughs> like, and it's different. It's, yeah. it's different to watch it. Yeah. I feel like uh I feel like it's a bit it's a bit scary to see where things are progressing and then to know 
uh, what your place in it is. Yeah, yeah. And so you, okay, so you see the Nazis, you see this stuff, you see Charleston, you see these mass shootings, you see all this kind of stuff that's happening. You're like, okay, well, what is my place in this? Yeah. And then I think for what we do is kind of like there will, you pray that there will be these projects that come along where you feel like you could put your finger on something or push something push the needle and a move way. something. Yeah. Because what the cool thing, the coolest thing that I like is that. Christmas Eve is going to live for the rest of time. Yeah. Your episode of Law and Order is going to live for the rest of time. Yeah. There's there are these things that are out there, these projects that uh, we've all watched. Mm. We're really passionate about them and they're going to affect people for forever. So yeah. we're like writing history yeah. and and hopefully that matters. No, honestly, I think about how how history has, progresses through time and the things that we look at to talk about a civilization or a culture yeah and it's so much often the art you know it's like the art and like the how people did their government basically right when you talk about trump <laughs> depending on who you're around it's yeah. very interesting to see yeah. how people yeah. react yeah and people are one way or the other and you know instantly yeah and that's so yeah. wild to me so when trump was elected i was in seattle yeah i was doing a show out there so like i wasn't i was like out of town I didn't know many people in Seattle and I was, they were putting us up in this extended stay hotel mm -hmm. and it's a lot of outer towners yeah. who stay in these extended <laughs> stay hotels. <laughs> <laughs> and so after the election and that whole friggin' thing where everyone's yeah. surprised and surprised shocked and, and crying, crying and, yeah, and yeah. then you're riding the elevator with all these people from these, you know, Ohio, middle and, of the yeah. country, southern states that have come up for some college game or whatever. And it's very awkward and tense. Yeah. Because I don't know what they did, but I can assume and yeah. they're assuming on the other side for me. And yeah, it's very, it was very, I remember just feeling a very sense of like, uh, and this was before all this, but it was like I had no protections. Yeah, I have no protections. These people are yeah. are here and they're right now. They're ju they're legitimized. Yeah, because they're guys in office. They're guys in office, and they're right now. Yeah, and then you're the odd man out. Yeah, like you can't you can't stop this stuff by putting your head in the sand. You can't stop this stuff by putting people in a box Just saying, and see sending them, and off, send them off to see. Right, yeah, right. especially when you got to understand that it's nuanced. Like like Cosby, yeah, put him in a box, yes, never sorry. talk to him again. And he is, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weinstein, yeah. yeah, send him, like, good night. hang him from good, the neck <laughs> until he's good dead. Night. Good night, good <laughs> night, I'll, I'll see ya. Yeah, but, like, and even, like, even to me, like, you know, there's, like, a split between L Louis C.K. and Aziz. Absolutely. Because even Louis was, like, he is, like, that was, like, he almost assaulted people not like he assaulted them in a weird way in a weird way he did assault them without touching them right in a weird yeah. way right to me the aziz thing is the main one where i'm like yeah people like hate him and yeah like when do people learn like they had a bad date they had a bad date. They had a bad date. But it's honesty. He can't read social cues. I, I can't read your, and I, yeah, he, I can't read that you were, yeah. I need you to say. And she's uncomfortable to express truly to what, what like, she, that feels. she feels. She doesn't know what to do. When she finally does express, hey, like, a, like no, he, res he respects, respects that. that no and, and puts her in it. And then they apparently also like talked about it after. After, yeah. But then. But then it's still. Well, he needs to be gone. He yeah. needs to be exiled. Yeah. yeah. That to me is like. Odd. Yeah. Like it's just people are don't know. Yeah. Especially in a dating situation. It, yeah. Like for example, uh, you you have a great you have some drinks you're busting in the apartment and you guys are making out blah blah yeah. blah. You're thinking only thing that you know is what you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And until if you guys can't both be honest about yeah. that, that's a scary place yeah. to be in. And to me, it's like also with you know then there's the other side of like sexual liberation where it's like people want what they want and there's a way that you can express what you want together and if you're if you're reading each other's physical cues and verbal cues you can actually like find something together and like some right. and some people you know like something a little rougher yeah and some people want this or that or the third and you hope to find someone who's going to like satisfy that for you right and, and when and when you're first meeting someone you don't know, you don't know those any levels of that, of that. so you're trying to find those levels and but everyone wants it to be organic, yeah. And you don't want it to come across like, well, 
are you uh, comfortable? Exactly. With, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On um, the second date, would you like to? And no one wants that. Yeah. So I think it's it's been interesting to see how the re- relationships have changed. I don't I don't like the situation of Louis C.K. Yeah. It's like an odd. Yeah. It's like an odd situation that I don't feel like I have enough facts on. You know what? I feel a hundred percent. First, I don't know because I've heard. As soon as I heard, as soon as I heard it. that he was like, "Hey, can I jerk off in front of you?" Yeah, I called like Brandon, and I was like, "Yo, is this a thing? <laughs> do people fucking do that? Like, I'm like, I would never do that. It's gross. Like, what are you talking that about?" That was my other thing. Like, I was like, "How many dudes are just pulling Who's their doing dick out?" <laughs> I don't. I've, I've never, never had the I've desire. Never, I've never heard of this. To just pull my dick I, out. I have, it's just like, <laughs> hey, uh, do you mind? And so then he goes, in a, in a very bizarre way, he goes, hey, do you mind if I jerk off in front of you? Yeah. And then you say yes. Yeah. And then so he does. And then you're pissed. Yeah. But it's hard for me to imagine that scene because I'm just a filmmaker, so I, I imagine. So if yeah. I play it out how the internet tells me to play it out, <laughs> he's a monster, and right. he's just like, get over in that corner. He's yeah. jerking off. Yeah. And then I, I just can't imagine. <laughs> I, I, can, you laugh my, I can't imagine seeing Louis C.K. I can't imagine seeing this girl in the corner going, no, yeah. no stop. And he's like, yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's, I can't imagine that. I don't see. I don't see it being like that. Well, like, cause he, that would be like you're a monster. I don't think he's like stop, oh, not again. And he's yeah. just like, shut the fuck up. I'm doing this. Well, it's like masturbating is such like a, a like a private personal it's, thing. I just that it's like I don't. What is it? Doesn't feel like you're in the the driver's seat. If I mean, he clearly was, and there's right. a power dynamic. But it's like, it's like going to a dominatrix and like yes. having them like. Beat yeah, you. yes. But then, like, you force you them, force them to beat you, and then you're like, "I didn't like yeah, that." Yeah, because like in any other context, like, watch me masturbate is a punishment for the masturbator. Yes, like, absolutely. When someone busted on you it, masturbating, yeah, that's the worst feeling in the world. All right? Like, no, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> hold on. Let me get a towel. Hell yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I don't like. Um, I so I a I think what he did was wrong. Yeah. Like he shouldn't. Oh yeah. Don't do that. Like if I think about you, put my daughter in that situation. Like yeah. yo, man, yeah. yo, what the fuck? Yeah. I'll go to meetings all the time, and people will say this one thing that I really like. Hey, I can only be in this meeting for another twenty minutes. I gotta go because I gotta yeah. catch a thing. They've like set the expectation from the get go. Yeah. And I wish people would set those expectations more. We won't be in the situation. Yeah. Hey, I really like you or whatever it is. Like I'm yeah, not ready for a relationship. Know. I'm not ready yeah. for a relationship right yeah. now. I just got out of blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm not looking to. I've and I've been on dates with women like that. They're like, hey, just you know, like we're not having sex tonight. Right. And I'm like, cool. You know, if you right. change your mind, let me know. Right. But- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But like that's all good right but i feel like that makes it a little easier yeah yeah instead of like you're guessing yeah yeah I'll t- i mean okay i've been thinking about telling the story because i usually tell the story in association with these i'm sorry which sounds weird <laughs> before you hear it <laughs> okay but and again i don't know if it will make the episode because it's a little uh, blue okay but <laughs> Me and this woman, we were, had been on a few dates, and we ended up dating for a little while. Okay. And a little while, like a few weeks, a few months, or? Uh, event, after this situation, this was the first time we slept together, um, we dated for like two or three months after Okay, that. okay, yeah, okay. So like it was a relationship. Okay, yeah, you know, you're like, in a thing, you're yeah, in a thing. Yeah, exactly, you know. Um, and, and, you know, dating in New York is interesting because a lot of it can depend on neighborhood. Right. Because like, oh, you yes. live in the Bronx and Can't I live in it. Brooklyn. We are not, not dating. That's long distance. This is not happening. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and at the time I was in Harlem and she was in uh, Bushwick. Not going to happen. Yeah. Which was, it was difficult. Yeah. You know, we were working on a project together. So Got that, it. There was so at least you had, you had yeah. that. Right. But then when we would try to like hang out and do that thing and we're both in our like mid, early, mid 20s and... You know, we're, so we're like have enough uh, hormonal energy that we have some <laughs> yeah. initiative. We're like hanging out, but like we never know. Like, okay, well, we, we can't go back to my place because you have this thing tomorrow. I can't go back to your place because I have this thing. And right. So finally, eventually, we're like, oh, we'll we'll get a we'll get a hotel. Yeah. In Midtown. Okay. And like in Times Square, we get in this hotel, one of those little boutique hotels. That's all like super concepty. It's like all dark yeah. lighting, all yeah. lighting from underneath yeah. things, and super moody. All these black and white erotic paintings. And okay. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I we're know. like, okay, this is a this is a mood. Okay, got it. <laughs> this is happening. I see what you guys are going for. Yeah. And we get up to the bedroom, and things start going, and like 
things start getting a little like testy. They start getting a little rough, a little spicy. Yeah, okay. and we're like, like, okay, we're doing this, and we're, okay. and then we're like, we're doing that, and like we just keep like escalating and escalating and escalating until she ends up kicking me in the chest. What? Like straight up kicking me in the chest. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what I, do like, you mean? Like she was on the bed, I think, and it was just like pow like a like a like, kung fu like heel like sternum the f- pow what yeah yeah so finally okay. but like we had been like going you had been right we had been like do, i'm like okay this okay, okay right okay, i'm gonna do this and oh okay this is this is and so finally when she kicked me in the chest i was like time out <laughs> <laughs> time out <laughs> What is going on? Yeah. Like, what's happening? And she was like, oh, I thought that's what you wanted. And I was oh like, Oh my God. I was like, I thought that's what you, you wanted. wanted. So, like, we like, were able to like take a step back and be like, Okay, let's. Neither one of us wanted yeah, this. Yeah, you know. That is such a great fucking story. You know, so, I, I always think about that with Aziz, where it was like, I mean, he was misreading social cues like crazy. And like, you, you guys are being rough. But the sole thought of this is what they this want. This is what the yeah. other person yeah. wants. Yeah. We were able to take a step back and then communicate and then like restart from a different what if place. You, what if you didn't say time out? I don't know. What I don't I don't like I don't know. For me She she's if you didn't say time out, she's leaving with like I don't know. I was dating this guy, Raphael. Yeah. He just wanted to be really and rough. Weird thing. And he was and doing like, weird. right? Yeah. That's what she, I was just yeah. going along with it because it was his shit. Yeah. And, right. That's what yeah. she's saying, right? Yeah. Probably. Crazy. And I'm probably like, oh, well, this girl, I have to do these things now. But you, I have to, I have to meet this expectation. Yeah, but of being really rough. Yeah, but your yeah. story's bullshit. Yeah. And her story will resonate with exactly. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. To continue to build a platform to be able to really dialogue about this stuff, it's probably what has been missed. Like, can you, I was wish Aziz and that girl could have had their time out moment. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Probably wouldn't be here. Yeah. And then without the social media and all no. the Twitter and all that. Honestly, I always think like they probably might have had sex on a second or third date. Right. If it hadn't gone the way it went. The, had gone the way it went. You know? Crazy, man. Yeah. Well, dude, I've, I'm, I'm so thankful that yeah, to continue you, to create stuff with yeah, you. Yeah, you too, man. More to come. The and then, one. yeah, I know for <laughs> sure, man. And then tell people about to follow you, where you're on Instagram and, and everything. Yeah, so Instagram is, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, that's my other thing. Instagram <laughs> is Raphael is, no, wait, hold on, let me cut this, edit this better. I'm what is your Instagram? Raphael is cool but rude. That is true. Tell me, tell everyone why that is your Instagram. Raphael is cool but rude is the line from the Ninja Turtles uh, theme song of the cartoon. There you go. Raphael is cool but rude. rude. Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Raphael is cool but rude. Boom. So find yeah. him. He's one of the most talented actors I've ever seen and uh, really incredible uh, theater actor as well. Dude, Thank thanks you, for coming on the show, bud. Thanks, man. Sounds good. Peace. Peace.